In this screencast, we are going to use Excel to solve a single nonlinear equation. In particular, we have x cubed plus 2x plus 20 is equal to 3 times e to the x. What we can do then is subtract 3e to the x from both sides, so we get an alternative problem that f of x is equal to 0. So if we solve the roots of this equation here at the bottom, we will, we will of course solve the one up, up top. So what I will do then is set up a couple of cells. I'll call one x and one f of x. I'll put in a guess for x. And then I'll put in the equation for f of x. But before I do that, I'm going to name these cells. So I go highlight the region, and I go to formulas, create from selection, and the left, select the left column. Now if you notice, this cell is named x over here and this one is f of x. It just used the names from the left column. I'll put in the formula, equal, now I can just use x cubed plus 2 times x plus 20 minus 3 times exponential of x, not 0. But then I will use the solver, so I go to data, solver, I'm going to set f of x equal to a value of 0 by changing x. And I'll hit the solve button, and it says it found a solution. You always have to check to make sure that that is the case, um, but it, it looks like it did. It has uh, x value of 2.72, and f of x is very nearly 0. So this is a nonlinear equation, so I'm not guaranteed that it only has one solution. It can have many solutions. One way to check to see if it has multiple solutions is by use of a data table. I can set up different values of x here, and f of x, I'll compute f of x. I'll put in, say, negative, I'll just check it from, say, negative 10 to 10 or so, so negative 9. Then if you just highlight these and pull down that box, it will kind of fill in the table for you. I'll go to 15. It's okay. F of x. Now up here I want to put in, I'm going to equal, and then wherever I computed f of x. I put that in there. I highlight the whole table, and I go to data, and then it's under what-if analysis. It's called a data table. I have data in columns, so I have a column input and I'm going to put my column input cell is going to be right here. So what it's telling me is it's going to put the values in the left-hand column into this value for x and compute f of x. And if I say OK, it fills out the table for me. So you can see that it, uh, we've got a, a root of, we know we have a root of uh, 2.72, so we can look for any additional places where it may have uh, changed sign. Uh, there's my 2.72, and it, it looks like that may be the only root um, in this particular equation. Um, you can also put different guesses for x and see if solver solves for a different root. Anyway, that concludes solving a single nonlinear equation using the solver in Excel.